Grabbing a quick bite to eat is vital for many busy students, especially during finals week. Most students head over to the Joe for a quick meal and they will soon have another option to choose from. Heather Chapini has a story. It's that time of year again where athletes have been gearing up to compete for gold, silver, and bronze in this year's Winter X Games 16. We have the inside scoop of who will be competing in Aspen. Let's take a look. Welcome back, I'm in the studio with the most important person in the world, my mother. Lynn Felsch, the Emergency Service Coordinator of the American Red Cross, the Capital Region Chapter. She's here to talk about volunteering in South Lake Tahoe. A lot of people think that the Red Cross is only for disasters, but they actually do a lot of stuff in the area. So tell us about what you guys do on a local level here in Tahoe. We're right in the middle of a holiday season, meaning that shoppers are out and about looking for the best deals. Black Friday brought out millions of Americans once again, and everyone, including students, rushed to the stores in Reno to do some early holiday shopping. Travis Walgren has the story. Lindsay Felsch here at the starting gate for the Amgen Tour of California. It is official now that the race will continue on, so we'll see how these riders do with the weather. Thank you so much for joining us on this edition of Lake Tahoe TV's Tahoe Tonight. As you can see, lots of events happening in the Lake Tahoe Basin. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and our new website, LakeTahoeTelevision.net. We'll see you next time. The 2010-2011 winter season kicked off in Lake Tahoe last weekend with several ski resorts opening with terrain park features, wide open groomed runs, and varying levels of terrain for early season skiing and snowboarding. Cold temperatures, highly efficient snowmaking systems, and Mother Nature's early season snowfall enabled ski lifts to start turning as early as Thanksgiving this year. The last time we had an opening this early was the winter of 2004-2005, and we actually opened on Halloween. But to, act, to open on Thanksgiving weekend, uh, we, I don't remember the last time that happened. So we're really excited to be open early and to be open on all natural snow at this point in the season. The early winter conditions allowed holiday travelers to enjoy top to bottom skiing and snowboarding at Lake Tahoe Ski Resorts. Just made my first run out on Grandview. It's awesome. Just getting my legs all warmed up, you know, still a little sore first time up all year. Can't beat it though. All seven ski resorts in the Lake Tahoe Basin plan on opening within the next couple of weeks with fresh snow, new terrain, and a promising winter season. As you can see, the conditions are great out here, and if you haven't already gotten geared up, come out for the season and enjoy the conditions. For Wolfpack Week, I'm Lindsay Felsch. Boys and Girls Club of Truckee Meadows and Bully Sports Bar and Grill held their 7th annual Paul Sonar Community Thanksgiving dinner celebration. The event started several years ago um, with Bully Sports Bar um, and its owner at the time, Paul Sonner. He was heavily involved in the community, really wanted to give back to the community as much as possible. Um, and so it kind of started by him coming to us saying, you know, what can we do? How can we make this an event? And so it started off small, just our kids, our community around here, the schools in the neighborhood, and it's kind of gotten bigger every year. At this event, families, friends, and members of the community gathered together for a free Thanksgiving meal with turkey, pumpkin pie, and all of the traditional Thanksgiving fixings. We had a huge turnout from just different organizations, many, many uh, sororities, fraternities, lots of people from UNR. Um, it, it was a really great turnout. Together, the Boys and Girls Club and Bullies serve more than a thousand community members each year in order to make everyone's Thanksgiving holiday special. It's a time of need and more so now than in, in recent past and it definitely benefits the community. We've seen just being here since about 3.30 I guess about a thousand people have gone through here and we're expecting more. Not only did people come out to enjoy a great meal, many volunteers came to support the community members. There's so many people here from the community that we put the word out, whether it's uh, veterans, elderly, people that live in the neighborhood, really at-risk populations, anyone that wants to come out. This is, it brings people together. Even our very own Governor Brian Sandoval came to the Boys and Girls Club to show his support for the community. Well, I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving and a happy holidays. And it's real important, again, to give back and help those people in need. We're in tough times right now. 
And for those of us that are very blessed, I think it's important that we reach out and help everybody so that all of us can have a wonderful holiday. Over 100 volunteers came to the Boys and Girls Club for the Thanksgiving dinner to give back to their community for the holidays. For Wolfpack Week, I'm Lindsay Felsch.